this is a 45 years old female referred for uh, a palpable mass in the left lobe of the thyroid gland. Now what we do is we place the probe transversely in the, the scanning plan will be like this. I will ask the patient to extend the neck. Uh, don't, I don't need uh, the pillow to be placed behind his neck. So I will start from this area. I will come down, downwards in a slow, very slow manner. This will give me the left lobe of the both lobes in transverse section. Then I, uh, I will expose one lobe and then rotate the probe 90 degrees and I will get the longitudinal. Similarly, while going for the left lobe, I will expose the left lobe in transfer section and then I will rotate the probe 90 degrees to see and then maneuver or angle to get the full lobe. From here, I, I will see the isthmus. This will give me the transfer section of both lobes of the thyroid gland and now this angle will give me the left, both lobes in longitudinal sections. However, a little bit uh, variation in uh, scanning with different patients will be required. So let's start the scan. In this ultrasound, if you don't maximize your ultrasound image to the maximum you can, so not compromising the resolution of the yeah, ultrasound image. Now this is the transfer section of the thyroid gland. Now, <coughs> This area is the isthmus. This area is the isthmus, and all these shadows are from the trachea, and these are air shadows. These are tracheal air shadows. Okay. <coughs> now remember that the landmark for the uh, thyroid gland is the common carotid artery. This is the common carotid artery in transfer section. With it you will see a large vessel which is the in internal jugular vein. So here we see, I will write it CCA, that is common carotid artery in transfer section and this is the internal jugular vein in transfer section. Then this is the thyroid gland in transfer section, the right thyroid gland in transfer section. <coughs> so uh, up to this uh, level, I can say that the uh, what I have seen is that the uh, right lobe of the thyroid gland is normal in uh, size, in echogenicity, has no focalian, no calcification, at least in transfer section. And rest tracheal air shadows, these are the tracheal air shadows. Now we go, I am going to see the transfers to the longitudinal of the right lobe. This is the longitudinal of the right lobe. This is the common carotid artery in longitudinal section. And this is the thyroid gland, right thyroid gland, which measures 3.4 centimeters in length and 11, uh, 1 1.13 centimeters, 1.5 centimeters in uh, anterior posterior diameter with this. longitudinal vessel being the common carotid artery and this is the longitudinal section of the right lobe 